Hey, Salafia. Um, Salafia for Rainbow. But, um, yeah, my clock, my um, thing went off. I had to reset the, um, the filming. Um, yeah, so, you know, just prepping, you know, getting ready for the Sabbath to come in because, you know, we're, we're, right, we're practicing the righteous acts, but, you know, when the Sabbath come in, we, we automatically understand what we have to do before it sets in. So that's the understanding of it. You know, okay, the sun, the, um, the sun sets, and it's a new, it's a new moon, right? We got the understanding of that. Based upon the scriptures, based upon the understanding, based upon what we was taught, because you gotta go able to comprehend this, you know. So that's that's um, so that's some that's your house shot knocking the door, giving the understanding. So it's like, you know, just wanted to bring that out, right? And you have to believe this, man. And that's a that's a key uh, element to this, man. John chapter read this verse again. John chapter six verse forty, and this is his will. You know, so like this is the will of him that sent me. And who who was Yahweh Shah talking? This is the word. These words are in red. So Yahweh Shah is saying this, and who sent him? Yahweh. That everyone would see if the Son, and believeth on him. See have everlasting life man there's life to the see that's that's you know we look at this picture this picture here right this drawing it was a beautiful drawing it's your howard shot breaking the chains of um of the physical the spiritual constantly right there <clears throat> she and um you know this drawing um illustrates a lot and um so, the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shah is giving this man understanding. How about the Zahi? And how about the Zah that I endure? And I get more understanding, I get my spirit more built up in his faith, under the ministry. You know? Because you always watch, there's always something new to learn. The water is not stagnant. All right? We're living water, we're lively stones. All right? And um, halfway in the verse, and believeth of John chapter six verse thirty, and believeth on him, may may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last days, and that's what's happened. These are the last days, man. Like we talk about this, oh, the end is coming. Well, we at the last days, man, and it's happening. Can't hide it. Like that stuck out to see what I can get. Let me see. Right, John chapter three, verse thirty-six. <clears throat> What's the same chapter? So like that. That was um. Uh, yeah, I go to John chapter five, verse twenty-four. Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you. He that heareth my words, heareth hear my word, and believeth on on him that sent me, that's Yahweh that sent Yahweh. These words are in red. Yahweh Shah was sent by Yahweh. Has everlasting life, man. This is life, man. I don't got another verse for that, right? Because the scriptures tell us about choose life. Choose everlasting life. And shall not come into con condemnation but is passed from death unto life and that's what's happened we are passed because we are what it says born again all right so we, we, we mortify our old members and now we living again in the spirit of Yahweh smell shop right I was looking at this word combination right this is um G 29 20. A separating, a sundering, separation, a trial, contest, selection, judgment. Because this is a judgment. You know, we, good and bad is when we judge. All right. Both cases going to be presented. And, oh, he's he's not guilty. He's 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 no have no doubt. He's no doubt. He's guilty. He's guilty. That's a separation. All right. Uh, opinion or decision 
given concerning anything. Anything. See? It's good and bad. Especially concerning justice and injustice. Right or wrong. They go sentences. They go, they go to the point right there. See? You decide. Sentence of condemnation. Um, damn. Damn. It's a lot. Damn. Not already. Something like that. I can't pronounce that. Damnatory. Sorry. Damnatory. Judgment, condemnation, and punishment. So this this gonna be a righteous judge. I mean this gonna be a righteous um judgment and a wicked and, and a um in a wicked judgment. It's both gonna be two it's two things. Two sides of this coin. Punishment, alright. Oh uh, yeah, that was the point. What's another word? Yeah, punishment. I went up to that but Alright, let's read a little bit of this. Alright. Let's look at, um, just get a little more on um, iteration of, uh, on this part right here. This is the yeah, so let's see what it says. I know the secretary said. The College of Judges, a tribunal of seven men in the several cities of Palestine. As distinguished from the Sanhedrin, which had its seat at Jerusalem, right, justice. So that was just a little bit of the um, um, information. But my point was punishment, judgment, justice, right and wrong is going to be judged by the righteous judge. Some are going to be put to death, like it says in Daniel, and some are going to be raised to everlasting life, and they're going to have. They're going to always be remembered. They're going to always be talked about. That's what I, I want to be one of those men. You know? There's levels to it. And the kingdom is going to be levels. Anyway, I'll take the level out that the Lord got predestinated for me. I'll brought this out. Hey. <clears throat> That's what we're looking forward to. All right, Romans, woo-wee, look at this, Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh, 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 Oh, no, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh. Do our, do our, I don't want Yahweh, Shah, Mashiach, see, it's Yahweh, Shah that's making it, um, that, um, built the bridge for us. Let's see something. Let's see what else to do with this. Uh, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh our shot. So there you go. So that, that's like a. Do we have to explain that? We have access by faith into the grace of that time that we get our shit together. Where when we stand and rejoice, we rejoice in this, man, in the hope of the glory of our Shah, man. We do. All right, let's go a little level. Let's get a little more level. All right, here we go, verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation. Hey man, hey, we understand that we gotta go through this. So that tribulation is really ain't nothing. Like we're looking at it like, damn. Alright, we happy there because this is a part of the movie. Also knowing that the tribulation work with patience, man. So all the stuff we're going through, look, if you look at this picture, he came to break the the the, the chains of the physical and the spiritual of this man. Now, I brought this out. We don't know. This could be. This could be recognized as the whole elect. And all he's saying is, "I'm free, man. Mentally, spiritually, man. We need that." And he worked with patience, man. man. I'm gonna skip a verse. Just, um, I guess I read over it though. 
Um, verse 4, Romans chapter 5, verse 4. And patience, exper experience, and experience hope. Alright? So we got hope in this, man. And that patience builds our hope, man. Waiting and waiting. Patience means to suffer. And we hoping to be one of those, man. And and hope maketh not a shame. We ain't ashamed with this, bro. Because the love of your highway, I was shot, is is shed abroad, man. And it is shed abroad. It's like sprinkled at the Lord of Yahweh Shemesh are sprinkled everywhere amongst the righteous men. Because the love of your highway is shed abroad in all our hearts by the Holy Spirit. See? When I was talking about that earlier. I said the Holy Spirit came down because the Lord said He's going to send another comfort, which is the Holy Spirit and the understanding, which is the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. All right, so there you go, man. Can't go around that. The Lord has leveled us up, man. All right. Um, like I said, I didn't know where I was going. I just wanted to turn the camera on and get one in. And it felt like it let, the Spirit led me somewhere. It felt good. Feel comfortable, you know. All right, Romans chapter eight, verse one. There is, there, there is, it's locking. There is therefore, there is therefore, now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach. I was shy. We went over that word condemnation. All right, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So, like I said, the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai open your mind, open your spirit, the inner man, and building you up. We gotta hope and pray we you know, we're not we're not doing nothing wrong for you. Alright. Like I said, Salaki, I didn't know where I was going. Uh right. let me read it out there. I don't know if I read it for the risk going. Yeah, I did, but I read it again. The end it. John chapter three, verse eighteen. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh, which is which, which is who Yahusha. So hey, that's what you gotta be doing, man. You gotta stay focused because Yahweh is the only one that's gonna get he's the deliverer. He's set up there for a reason. So he can get us up out of here, man. I want to be one of those dudes, man. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah by Shema Kakudash. The water of Yahweh Shemel Shah, forgive us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, judge the honest, rightfully so. Shout out to the Akhir. Shout out to the